Hello guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here from Brunch Boys, uh, the news channel. It's all about my uh, food adventures all over the world. But sometimes we like to do things a little bit differently around here because, well, it's my channel and I get to talk about what I'm passionate about and what I love. And you know, part of what I love is not only the food, but it's the creation of these videos for you guys. And today, I got a little present, a birthday present from Microsoft uh, that might help me bring to you guys some better videos. So, if you guys don't know, I've been uh, editing on a Microsoft Surface, uh, Surface Book 2 for like three years now. Um, but they have the new Surface Book 3 and chatted with Microsoft and they're like, we're gonna hook you up. So that's what I got today. We're gonna do a little unboxing, see exactly what they sent me, uh, maybe get some first impressions. And the only thing I'm missing is a monitor, so I will find a monitor and wrap up the video with that. But without further ado, mm, 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 new tech smell, new tech things. I love it. All right. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't think it'd be like this. What in the world? Okay. Oh my God, this is like the fanciest fucking packaging. Wait, I mean. <laughs> Let me close this back up, and then we give you guys like the real weight. I have to show. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Okay, wait. Let me put this on the floor and show you exactly what this was. Oh boy! All right, we've moved positions for the third time now, and I turned on the AC and took off my hat because I was very hot. <laughs> it's very hot in New York City today. Anyway, all right, let's start going through these things. All right, so this one says. Stay connected to what you love. This is what was on top of the box. Let's open up this and see what we got. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Let's see, can you guys see? It says, inside you'll find your new service and a collection of hand-picked items to help you stay close to the people, places, and things you love. Stay con connected to nature, connect to their cooking. That's me. Uh, connect to loved ones. Uh, I could send letters. And connect locally, some uh, Bushwick tea. So I'm in Brooklyn. So well thought out. I love this. Look at my little plants. First one I've ever had. I've been thinking about getting plants. I think this is good. Start little. You know what I mean? Start, start. Is it even real? I think it's real. Yeah, that one little, little baby kind of died there. All right. First real plant. So that, we got some cards, some tea, like I said. And then let's get to the good stuff. All right. First up, we got some Surface earbuds. This is good. Um, so like with all the Zoom calls I've been doing, and fortunately the buds that I had, I accidentally zapped. Um, I think I was like trying to clean them and as, even though I was trying to be careful with them, I guess I wasn't because both stopped working and I had to do all my Zoom calls with like my big headphones on, which are great for sound wise, but bad for visual wise. Um, so glad to have these new buds. Let's check these out here. Here they are, little buds, right here. They, uh, they have like little attachments to fit your ear. Let's try this one. My ears are weird at these, so, oh, it's already talking to me. Um, but even right away, this feels good. So I will mess with these and uh, sort of report back later. Oh, and this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. The actual Surface Book 3, 15 inch. Uh, this is the 512 gigabyte, uh, 32 gigabyte RAM, um, 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, this one has the uh, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1600 Ti um, GPU. So, it should be a pretty powerful beast, but let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm not gonna put my hat back on. I know this is like, this is gonna annoy the shit in me in my edit that I keep putting my hat on and off, but. I brought scissors with me. I don't have the scissors over there. Kind of just the plastic, come on, baby. Extra micro USB, USB, coming in handy. Suspense is killing me. There we go, oh, oh, oh. Ah, here she is, the brand new Surface Book. Uh, obviously looks on the outside very similar to my old book. Um, in fact, I probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference, honestly. Uh, I mean, this looks much fresher and clean than mine, which is three years of sort of dirt and stuff, but, um, yeah, looking good. I can't wait to plug it in and get it going. So shiny. Oh, you can see us in there. There you go. 
so clean that you could see me uh, in the reflection. So looking good. All right, so just so you could tell the two next to each other. Um, new one, old one. Um, obviously this is smaller model too, but um, little differences. But goddamn, looks sexy. All right, let's power up and uh, see what happens here. Exciting part, waiting for the initial installation process. Ooh, sexy. I like pretending that I'm a uh, tech blogger. That's what I look up to. That's what I watch on YouTube. I don't really watch any other food people. I sit and watch like tech people. It's my dream, be a tech influencer. All right, so we went through the initial uh, steps. It's now doing its thing. Um, and we we'll, should have an up and running computer. It says almost there, so almost there. And just like that, there we go. We are uh, locked and loaded here. We're good to go. So um, I'm going to get this set up. Basically, the initial things that I need. Obviously, I need all the Adobe stuff there. Got to start getting to work, editing videos. Um, but yeah, I'll mess with this a little bit and then I'll sort of do a final check in with you guys. Just initial impressions. Um, so, I mean, listen, there's no way this is going to be worse than the old computer. It's only going to be exorbitantly better. So I have high hopes, but yeah, I'm gonna get to work, uh, probably edit uh, some video on it, see how it does, and then uh, yeah, report back. Oh, hey guys, okay, so it has been uh, maybe a week and a half, almost two weeks since getting the new laptop, and I just sort of wanted to fill you in on sort of those impressions that I've had uh, the past two weeks. And I mean, spoiler alert, it's been amazing. I mean, you see, I'm exporting here right now. I would say the exporting speed is, I haven't done the exact math, but just by feel, uh, honestly, four to five times faster. And like, you guys don't understand what that means for my days. I mean, think about, I mean some videos I do, most of the videos I do were maybe uh, six to 10 minutes long, and it's exporting faster than the actual time of the video where it used to take five times. I mean, like, it's completely changed my workflow. The other thing that's completely changed my workflow is not having to render my files. So basically what I used to have to do is put the files, you can make proxies too, but even then you're basically just pre-rendering after, put, anyway. I would lay them out in the timeline and pretty much any change I would make to them, but lay them out in the timeline, render, any change I would then make to them, whether it's, it's text or graphics or colors or size, whatever, I would then have to render again before really being able to have it be played back or I couldn't even keep, it couldn't even keep up with it. I don't have to render from my 4K files. I can just edit. And I'm talking with all the graphics, with all the colors, with everything. I mean, like my workflow is so much faster. It is crazy. So I am extremely, extremely happy about this. Like. Honestly, the lesson learned is like, don't use old tech. It really fucks you over. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I need new computers. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going to continue to try and upgrade at a much faster rate. Um, general usage though, uh, it, it's been great. Super, super snappy. Um, the webcam is definitely better, more so than even just like how it records. Uh, it has whatever Windows calls it, you know, the, the face turn on, sign in, whatever. Um, now, like before my old one, I have to like look like this, like get all close to like make sure it sees me. This almost instantly picks up my face and logs in. Very snappy, very fast. Um, overall, really, really happy with it. Uh, no complaints. I think that if you're thinking like, oh, I should then get this Surface Book 3, what an amazing computer. I, I do want to be upfront. Here's, here's why I say don't get it. If you have no use for a touch screen, if you have no use to be able to detach your screen, I don't think this is for you. Mostly just because of the money. If, if this wasn't so much more expensive because of that, I would say, screw it, of course, get it. Who cares? At some point you're gonna use those features. But I think you're seeing a pretty big jump in price just by getting this. So if that has no use for you, don't do it. Do I detach the screen all the time? No, but I do like the option. Do I touch the screen all the time? Actually, yes, I like, my little workflow is like, I like touching things. So that's pretty much worth it for me, honestly. Um, 
be yeah, overall really impressed. If you see, I do not have a monitor yet. My goal was when I finished this, this video was to like have a nice, beautiful monitor. Like everything in life, it's taking me much a more longer to figure out what I want. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for monitors, please let me know. I'm looking like a maybe 27 to 32 inch uh, just for editing. So not gaming, not anything, not an ultra curve, but maybe a, you know, a wider screen, whatever, have more room to, to play with. Um, I mean, honestly, just even going from the 13, 15 inch here has made editing so much better. It's made coloring so much better. Like it was, it was ridiculous that I was editing on a three-year-old 13 inch laptop <laughs> for this long. Um, but yeah, overall very happy. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, if you've had this, if you wanna get it, if you guys have any questions, subscribe, like, comment, all those things. The video expert right now is a little top five video about top five places to eat in Osaka. So stay tuned for that video too. But until then, 